Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from High Heels and Training Wheels bringing you my first vlog, like I promised, so I can talk to you about some crap. And today's crap is my top 10 favorite products under $5. And I am partnering with Callie from Butt First Coffee to bring you those uh, top 10. She's doing her own video and I'll link to her because I can promise you her video is going to be way better than mine. So if you want to see what a real video should look like, go over and check her out. I'm not by any means a makeup authority and I wear it just because if I don't people literally think that I'm ill. I have people ask me if I'm not wearing makeup like are you okay? You look so tired. It's like thanks assholes. So I'm not like a pro at makeup but I am definitely a pro at saving money and being cheap. So all of my makeup I buy from the drugstore and you can really you can find just as good a product it just takes a little more hunting, so hopefully maybe my list will make your search for cheaper products a little bit easier. Okay, number one on my list is Wet n Wild Lipsticks. Um, there's only three of them here, but I have a hundred of these things. Um, I like them because they're 99 cents. Hooray for 99 cents. Um, and you can try a color that, like, may or may not look good on you, but if it doesn't, like, you didn't really spend any money. It's 99 cents. And um, they go on true to color, and they really last all day, which I didn't expect a 99 cent lipstick from Wet n Wild to do, but it really does last all day. And it doesn't, like, settle in your cracks and crevices, because you know, you know those people. You know who I'm talking about when they have, like, you can just see the outline of every little crack in their lip and you just want to tell them like how do you not know you look like that but this doesn't do it so for 99 cents like you can't get a better lipstick all right number two is and i, I don't know is it elf is it elf how, what do you how, what do you call it like i know it's eyes lips face but elf just rolls off the tongue a little better so that's what i'm going to call it i'm going to call it elf and there's a lot of elf products on this list so I, I really i can pretty much rename this the e.l.f. top 10 e.l.f. products, but um, the number two is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer, and it has what it says it has in there, a blush and a bronzer. Um, I like it because for $3, you're getting two products. Um, I like the color of this blush because it's like a peachy color, and it's got like gold shimmer in there, so, you know, kind of look the dewy look. I don't know a lot about makeup, but I know the dewy look is a good thing, right? And then for contouring, I like this bronzer because it doesn't have any shimmer in it, and I don't want someone to look like some. I just got glitter thrown on my face, you know? I like a little bit of shimmer is good in my blush, but like I don't want my whole face covered in sparkles. And this is a matte color, and it's not orangey, and a lot of bronzers are. So for $3, you can get Two products. Number three is the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in 24-7. And I have a really craptastic camera, so you probably, like, can't see it at all. Um, I like the Sinful Colors because it's $1.98 and it's cheap nail polish. Um, but I really like this color because it's, like, a highlighter pink. Like, it legitimately, like, glows in the dark. And it's a thick polish, and it goes on opaque and nail polish for $1.98. Okay, number five, back to ELF, might as well. Um, it's the ELF uh, brushes, and I have all of them, like, that's literally, like, that's all I have are the ELF brushes. I'm calling it ELF. If you don't like it, whatever. Um, but <laughs> I'm not going to put you through the torture of going through all of them. I'll just show you my favorite two. Um, the first one is the ELF powder brush, and it's a flat brush, really, really dense, and I've had this thing for like a year, and I haven't lost any bristles as good as it was on the day I got it. Um, it says powder brush, but I'm breaking the rules. I don't use it as powder. I use it for foundation because I like to stipple, um, and I, like I said, it's not lost any bristles. It's awesome, and this one was $3. This bad boy is the Total Face Brush. Um, the white brushes, 
in terms of like their quality are just as good. I've had this one just as long and it hasn't lost any bristles or lost its shape either. But the white brushes for whatever reason are a dollar. Um, and I use this one like when I'm doing my blush and bronze or whatever to like blend it, like total face brush, that's what it's, that's what it's called. So for a dollar, you can't get better. I mean, like I said, I've had this thing for a year and it's like in just as good shape and it does the job. I mean, do you really need to spend $30 on a blush brush? I mean, it's a brush. Like, go get you some ELF ELF brushes. Okay, number five is my Revlon Color Silk Hair Dye. And again, you probably can't see it. I, I used to use Neutrogena for a long time because it had like this oil in it and made your hair shiny and whatever. And then for one day, I, I don't know why, I guess I was just feeling exceptionally cheap that day. I went and got this one because it was the cheapest one they had. And when I was rinsing it out, like I was expecting green hair because, I mean, $4, I mean, that's kind of sketchy. That's suspect, you know, $4 box of hair dye. But it's a really vibrant color. And I just saw someone do a review on this. And this girl was, like, totally hating on this stuff. Like, don't go buy this. If you go and get this, don't expect it to turn out like the color on the box says. I mean, she was absolutely hating on this. And I'm like, what did you do? Like, it's not rocket science. It's hair dye at home. I don't know why it didn't work for her, because she was using the same color I have. And it's auburn brown. And my hair is very clearly auburn. Like, I don't know what she did wrong. Um, you probably can't tell what it looks like. So this is my color of my hair there. And I always get compliments on my hair. And it's a $4 box of hair dye. Like, I love to tell people that it's a $4 box of hair dye. Because I don't get compliments very often, like, let's be honest. But when I do, more times than not, it's on my hair color. And it was $4 at Walmart. And it lasts. Like, if anybody knows, you know, hair color, you know that red doesn't stay very well. It's hard to maintain, but, like, my roots will grow out before this will fade. And I have terrible, terrible, terrible grays. Like, I'm just going to be honest, and that's the reason I even color my hair. And I have no problem with the gray coverage. And it's $3.94. Go get you some of this stuff. All right, next is my Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express. Mine is in waterproof because, I don't know, my eyes just naturally water. Um, I really like this. This is like the only mascara that I use because it really does give you volume and it separates your lashes. And I recently just went and got the Maybelline Mega Plush because it was like nine times the volume. And I'm like, well, Maybelline did a superb job with Colossal. Like, I'll go get even more volume. And I hated it. It like had a flexible bendy wand and it was just terrible um, but out of all I mean like I've gone through a lot of mascaras and I always go back to this one this one's my favorite and it's just under five dollars so it checks the boxes okay so next is my elf wet gloss lash and brow clear mascara that is a mouthful um, this wasn't a product that like I would think oh gosh I gotta have that but um, my eyebrows, and I get complimented on my eyebrows, too. It's like, hey, girl, nice eyebrows. Like, what? But anyway, I have really, really, like, burnt and ernie eyebrows. I, I do. I mean, they're terrible, and <laughs> they require a lot of work to look this way. Um, but not only are they really thick, but they're, like, really, really long, um, so if I get, like, even one brow out of place, it, it's just ugly. So that's where this stuff comes in. It is essentially like a glue, and it just, like, holds your brows in place. And it's got two sides, one for your lashes and one for your brows. Um, I really just use the one for my brows, but it's a dollar. And so for all of you who complimenting on my eyebrows, like, this is my secret weapon. Okay, next is another e.l.f. product, and it's a makeup remover cleansing cloth. And these are $3, and apparently they are new. That's what the package says. 
Um, because I am really, really, really lazy, and I don't really like to wash my face before bed, and I don't always do it, and I am reaching an age to where that just didn't fly. My skin, I'm just not a spring chicken anymore, so I like have to remove it, and I just like to cough because I can lay in bed and watch TV and take off my makeup at the same time, and they're three dollars, and they smell really good, and waterproof mascara is really hard to get off, but these work really well, and there's three bucks. Next is another elf product, surprise. Um, this is the daily brush cleaner. Um, because I didn't clean my brushes for a really, really long time because it was just like, I didn't know you had to. Like, I mean, I guess it makes total sense that you would, but my face was breaking out really bad and I like was trying all these different face cleaners and I actually did start washing my face every night. And, like, my face was always broken out, and I couldn't figure it out. And then, then this genius finally realized that, like, the skin, the oil from your skin and, like, your bacteria from your skin, like, gets on your brushes. Like, duh, I don't know why I didn't think of that or realize that. But just, like, being lazy and not wanting to wash my face every night, I'm really lazy, and I don't always wash my brushes. So this stuff is a daily brush cleaner, so instead of, you know having to deep clean them every day, you just spray this on there, and I mean, like, you still are going to have to, like, actually, like, man up and wash your brushes every now and then, but this kind of, like, makes them, like, not so bad in the meantime. It kind of keeps the product from building up on it and breaks up the oils, um, and this stuff is $3 also, but it works well for what it does. Next is the Broadway Nails Real Life everyday style. Um, <laughs> there's like none in there because I used them. Um, I like them because they're short. I don't like long nails because they're, I'm going to choose my words carefully here, um, they're flashy. They're a little too flashy for me. That's a kind enough word. Um, these are short, so like they're not like crazy. And um, they're easy to put on. Um, they have like these breakaway tabs, so you just like snap them off and file it down. And they're just like under five dollars, so it's like you can pay like thirty bucks to go get your nails done, or you can use these bad boys for five dollars. And it has everything you need in it: your glue, your nail file, cuticle pusher, and all that. And I don't like getting my nails done anyway. Like I know some people like go for like a mani pedi day, but like that little nail file is like a freaking dr tooth drill. It just, like, it gives me cold chills to even think about it. Like, don't come anywhere near me with that thing. So, you can still get, like, nice-looking nails. And they say they last a week, and I had one come off when I was in the shower washing my hair, but I just glued it back on. But they really do last for a week. They look like you went and got them done, but you didn't have to have the creepy file. And they're $5. Okay, and I have one bonus product, because I'm, I'm a rebel. I'm a rule breaker, um, and it's not under five dollars, but it's just over five dollars, so it's like still cheap. Um, but I just got it, and I absolutely love it. So I just thought it kind of needed an honorable mention, I guess. Like it deserves a shout out. Um, it's the Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Fruity. Um, it's an orangey color, and I have it on. Um, I know that lip butters aren't, like, new, even though it's new to me. Like, I know people have been raving about lip butters for a long time, and it was kind of for that reason that I didn't get one. Like, I didn't get one just out of spite, just because I was so sick of hearing about them. But, I don't know, yesterday I was looking for a lipstick that had, like, it was an orangey. I just wanted to try, like, an orange color. And I ended up getting the lip butter, and I do really like it. So, I have to apologize to everybody I made fun of for buying these lip butters. And <laughs> they really are awesome. And this, this color, Tutti Fruity, is really good. Because it's, like, orangey like I wanted, but it's not, like, crazy orange. It looks good. And it's, like, moisturizing. And it's shiny and shimmering and 
all that good stuff. So, like, if you want to spend a little more than five dollars, I mean, it's like five and some change, so it's not like it's bad or anything. But all those people were right. I'll admit it. The lip butters are good, so go get your lip butter. And that's it for me. Um, it's my top ten. If you stuck with me through this entire video, you must have had some free time on your hands or been really bored. But I appreciate it. I really do. Um, if you're feeling generous, you can stop by my YouTube and subscribe. Even if it's just a subscribe out of pity, like, I'll take it. So, yeah, there's that. And thanks for watching. And also, um, go over to Callie and check out her blog and her video. I will link to those. And go show her some love for <laughs> agreeing to be associated with this horrendous video. Like, we mucho appreciate you, Callie. So, go out and check her, her video out, her top ten, and that's it for me. And I'll see you next time. Maybe. Hopefully. There'll be a next time. There'll be a next time. I will. And they'll get better. So, okay.